Hello, my name is Wes. I work as the principal software engineer for a, uh, a company that makes smart cameras uh, and caters to many industrial customers. Uh, I've been using VS Code for a few years and it's awesome. I give it five stars. Prior to the existence of VS Code, or at least my awareness of it, um, I had been using Microsoft's Visual Studio uh, uh, development environment for many, many, you know, over 10 years, and love it. I mean, it's not free like VS Code, but I I've know that uh, that's kind of the reason why I like VS Code is because they're both Microsoft products, and as such, like it's easy to set up the same hotkeys and do everything. Um, I can do things edit-wise very quickly uh, with uh, Microsoft Visual Studio, and that easily translated to VS Code, which was a major, major uh, advantage. Well, I, I switched to VS Code because um, our current product, unlike all uh, prior products, which were Windows-based, it is based on uh, well, Linux, the, the embedded variant of Linux, which is called Yocto. And um, for development purposes, we use Ubuntu on Linux. But in any event, uh, uh, by virtue of being a, a, a non-Microsoft uh, OS uh, Visual Studio, the, the pay for service wasn't there. But it was a godsend when I found out VS Code is there. And not only is it there, it's it's free. So that that kind of saved the day, you might say, when it came to our, our Linux embedded uh, development. VS Code was great, um, easy to, to take, to port basically a large code base that, that had developed over years uh, under Windows and make it so that it would be portable to the Linux. And that was easy. I mean, it's easy because by VS Code just uses the, the GCC compiler under the hood the GDB debugger under the hood, which is what any uh, integrated development environment, be it Eclipse or whatever, running on Linux, it, it just ends up using the the standard compilers and um, debugger interface. And, and so VS Code was a very nice GUI exposure uh, that maps to the those pre-existing tools that do the actual hard work. And again, since it was very similar in the keys and in, in using to uh, to Visual Studio, which I had used for for over a decade, it made the transition for me exceedingly easy compared to like we tried uh, Qt Creator, which is a competing product. But I just it drove me nuts. I couldn't map the keys to do what I was familiar with. And you've done something a certain way for many many years. It's exceedingly difficult to teach this old or new tricks in any way. So, so it, it was that uh, there were myriad ways of in which it was awesome. And that, that's, uh, that captures a lot of them in, in ACES. Well, uh, when it comes to, uh, reasons to use VS code, I, I think they're abundantly obvious. I have, um, a nephew who works for a, a large financial company. They do more of just web, you know, uh, standard node.js stack development and vs code is great for that i mean i'm not really required to do that because again i i work on classic legacy c c plus plus code which which doesn't you know i'm not working with angular js or any of the uh, the languages concerned with it but vs code tailors to that and again it's free so uh like my nephew who uses it for web development He'll use it a lot, um, but they also, the company will pay for, for, for pay products that might be a little more tailored to it. But when it comes to the fact that it's free and so versatile, uh, I don't know why anyone would opt not to use it unless, again, that, that their company will pay for something that's expensive but might be more tailored to whatever their purpose at hand is.